Okay, YouTube. What's going on, folks? I came out yesterday to start pruning my apple tree like I was telling you. It got too cold. It got way too cold. And so I decided to call it until a warmer day. But now it's Saturday. Late in the afternoon, I slept in. And I am just now getting around to my chicken chores. And my girls do not sound happy with me right now. Come on, ladies. Out you get. Yeah, they're not happy. girls got water for you I didn't expect this to be froze look out okay the girls are fed and watered thought I'd let you guys watch them for a minute chickens are always fun to watch so now I'm cold I'm gonna I'm gonna clear the eggs out of the coop. It looks like today's a good day. I have four, seven eggs to pull out today. That's awesome. That's awesome considering it's still in the middle of the winter for us up here. I'm getting four to seven eggs a day out of these girls. I'm not gonna complain, I'm really not. So despite the snow, I do have a little bit of stuff that needs to happen out here. Um, I'm going to take the eggs inside, get them rinsed off, and then I'm going to come back out, knock off a couple minor chores. It shouldn't take long. Then I'll give you guys a walk around. It's beautiful out right now. It's cold, but I'm, I'm fat and I retain heat very well, so I'm not super concerned. The snow is a little concerning because snow is just frozen water but that's really just a camera concern and honestly I've got water damage protection on this camera so if I accidentally screw up Best Buy's got my back I do have to change out their bedding today I'm looking in there and it looks horrible I usually I usually change the bedding, I don't know, once or twice a week, depending. Oh, that's a disappointment. I have a cracked egg. Well, I'll let the, lo the local wildlife have it. So let's get these eggs inside, get my dog inside, 
and drop my waterer off and I'll come out and get some work done. The biggest task that has to happen, and it's only gonna take like three minutes tops, is I gotta knock the icicles off my gutters. From where it's been so cold and snowy, the, the snow on my roof, it's, you know, when daylight hits it, it starts to melt off. But the problem you run into there is that just icicles all over the place and so it can be pretty frustrating especially considering my gutters are completely frozen over at the moment the icicles they just add extra weight patch come on so i didn't want to bring you guys in the house with me but i'm gonna go my house is a bit of a trash heap at the moment. I've uh, not done a good job this last week keeping it clean. But honestly, I think we all know how that is. Okay, so while I'm in the process of cleaning these eggs off, I figured I'd talk to you guys for a couple minutes. Because I know it's been, what, five, six months since I, since we last spoke. Two cracked eggs. That one looks good. Three cracked eggs. So of the seven eggs I had dropped for me, I only get to use four. Outstanding. All right, so I'm just heating up the water. It makes it easier to wash the filth off of the eggs. But anywho, in the, the last six months since we've really talked, man, a lot's, uh, lot's gone on. So I was doing weekly vlogs right up until what, like September or something. And then I just, I got, I lost all my motivation um, and you know, some of it's my, my lazy nature, I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of lazy in me. I get it from my dad. Um, and what had really precipitated it was I was doing really well. I was, I was doing really well. I was out in the garden every weekend or every day, really. I was getting all my... My chore is done. I kept up on the chickens. Don't worry about that. But, you know, I was getting all the, like, really essential stuff taken care of. Well, one of my favorite things about working outside, it's not being in the great outdoors. It's not the weather. Um, I love cutting my grass. Like, grass cutting for me is an absolute blast. And so my mower... My mower I got second hand from a family friend, and I'm, I'm not going to hate on him because it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's really not his fault that the mower is the way that it is. But issue after issue after issue on the mower. And so that really impacted my ability to get grass cutting done. And so a lot of time I just, I didn't go outside. If I couldn't get grass done on a day off, I didn't go outside. Then, you know, I hit a... It hit a bout of depression. Not not horrible. Like it, it was probably one of the most benign bouts of depression I've ever had in my life. Um, but I let my garden go. It got overgrown. Um, started losing chickens. To this day, I'm still not sure what was getting it, my chickens. I know if you guys remember a few videos back, I lost almost an entire almost an entire flock of chickens. And that I'm pretty confident that I know what got to those. Since the girls were quite literally gutted, something somebody forgot to put an empty eggshell away. 
But so my my last group of chickens, I found, well, my first group of chickens, I found completely gutted and lying all over my yard. And so I got more chickens. Only lost one out of my second batch of chickens, like before it even got outside. Well, I let those outside, had them out in the chicken yard off to the side of the house where the original group had been. And I lost half of those. So I went from eight chickens down to one. Because only one chicken survived in my first group. Chicken Mama, um, as I call her. She's the, the lone survivor from her, her first group of sisters. And so I get a second group, half of those disappear. Like literally disappear. I wake up one morning, half of them are gone. No feathers, no sign of struggle in the coop. Just open the coop up, they're gone. So that night my dog had been freaking out. So I'm wondering if a local saw my coop and came up and took him, or if something did a really good job of burrowing under the coop and hiding its tracks, got to half my girls. So that left me a little sad. So I went out, I got myself another, I think I ordered like another 10 from Murray McMurray. And this is where I had finally gotten tired of having them in a chicken yard. I'd moved the coop over to where it's at right now, which is in my garden. It's moving soon again, but I'd moved them into my garden and I wasn't losing them anymore. And then of my Murray McMurray chicks, I'm down to like three. So all in all, I have seven out of like 20, 25 chickens that I've bought still alive. So at this point, I'm not getting any more chickens until I can really make sure that they're 100% safe. So my general thought, and I was talking to my uncle about this, is if you look over here, and it's really hard to see, um, at least for me because my glass is polarized, I've got quite a bit of open space over here, just on the other side of that ditch you see in the ground. So I'm thinking of moving my coop over there and like fencing this whole little area in because it's under this big old tree. It provides a ton of shade. Uh, it's up against the hill, so it's gonna provide quite a bit of predator protection. Um, the only reason I haven't done that yet is technically speaking, I don't know if I own that part of the land um, I have a, a neighbor that owns 240 acres that quite literally surrounds my property. It's like a, it's like a U and I'm like in the opening of the U. And when I met him last year, we had talked about who owns this little piece right that I'm standing on that coincidentally my mailbox is also on. And he seemed to think it was me. I seemed to think it was him. So the first opportunity I get, I'm going to talk to him and see if he has any objections to me dropping my coop right there and fencing this little area in. Um, because yeah, it there is part of it that is absolutely part of his property. There's no doubt there, but it's an unused piece. I keep the grass cut on it, um, mostly because it, it could be mistaken for my part of, for like my property. And so I don't want people to think that, you know, somebody too rednecky lives here. But I'm going to talk to him if he's okay with me putting my coop over there and fencing this area in. Long term, I'll build a bigger coop and look really increase my flock size. Yeah. Nothing in the mailbox worth my time today. But, but when you also look over here, my burn pile takes up a lot of the space. I want to extend my garden. I want to extend my garden down this way a little bit and use the sloped area 
for my, my crawling vining plants. And what I mean by that is I have, I have a love of cucumbers. Um, some channels, they're the tomato channels. Me, I'm the cucumber guy. I freaking love cucumbers. Uh, and a lot of the reason I love cucumbers is I'm a big guy. And, you know, while I am utterly ashamed of my physical state, I'm not shy about it. And the reason I'm not shy about it is I am not a fan of sugar coats. I don't like making people think that problems are not as bad as what they seem. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not a, a total like drama lover where I'm gonna make things a lot worse than what they seem, but I do not believe in sugarcoating anything. So when I talk about my weight, people are like, oh my God, you're not fat? I'm like, come on, man. If I'm not fat, the sky's not blue. But with that said, because of my weight, I idle eat. And that's part of why I'm as big as I am, because I get bored and I eat. Well, that's part of why I love cucumbers. One, I absolutely love the taste of cucumbers. Peeled, unpeeled, doesn't matter. Um, cucumbers are cucumbers in my books. They're amazing. And so, I wanna grow a metric ton of cucumbers. I'm being a little dramatic with that word choice. But I wanna grow a bunch of cucumbers. And that way, one, I can pickle them because I know very few people that don't like dill pickles. And two, cucumbers are very healthy. And three, there's not a ton of calories in them, so I figure I could snack on cucumbers anytime I get bored and not have to worry about it. So look at this. All this ice up here, man. And from where, from where my gutters are already froze, I'm not gonna sit here and take the risk of these icicles weighing them down any further. But you gotta see this. Look at that. That's a big icicle. And it's gone. Oh, and note, I know that my filmography is absolutely terrible. Sue me. I've got 136 subscribers. I don't have 40,000, so. <laughs> I ain't earned the pro level stuff yet. But yeah, there's an up, but yeah, there's an update. Um, I don't know how. But when I stopped producing videos last year, it's February for anybody who's wondering, I had like 120 subscribers. Now it's not a huge increase, but in the six months, my channels continued to grow at a slightly reduced pace. I'm up to 136 subscribers, y'all. That's insane. Now, all the 136 of you, don't watch my videos. But when I look at it, I get 20 to 40 views per video I put up. When my, when my tractor supply chicken coop videos, getting several hundred a piece. And I'm like, wow, 20 people want to listen to what I have to say? Damn. That's mind boggling. I don't even want to listen to what I have to say. And I love the sound of my voice. Or so I've been told. Got a lot of icicles. And ice.
All right. Here we go. My house, for the most part, is desickled. So, outstanding. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about a couple changes. So I want to talk to you guys about a couple things that have changed over the last six months. So I had a little bit of space freed up. You see right behind me, there's just a little bit of, it's really just tree limbs. I had a tree felled before I moved in, or right after I moved in here at the end of 2019. And I didn't do anything with that tree last year just because I was like, Ugh. I was so tired from cutting up the other one that I had dropped that I was just not wanting to deal with it. Well, my neighbor, the one that owns the farm that surrounds me, he was redoing the property line so that he could refence it. He's going to, I think this spring or summer, be moving his entire cattle herd up here. Um, so, you know, he was in the process of rebuilding an old busted fence and he hit me up. He goes, Hey, I see you got that tree that's just laying there in your yard. Like, do you want me to take that for you? Like, it's not that big of a deal. It's right at the property line. And I was like, yes, <laughs> please. I won't complain. So, I just sank like a foot into the ground. I guess the, so that was a little bit deeper on the side of my house. Yeah, see, there's another drop. This is getting dangerous. I'm gonna die. <sighs> but let's see, so, but let's see, so, he cleared that out, so I'm probably going to use some of that area that's been cleared up this summer. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. It was a candidate for my chicken coop, but as I look at it, I'm like, ah. I really don't want to hear the chickens losing it in the mornings. I don't have any roosters, so it's not that big of a deal. But I want to use it for something else. Um, I'm thinking of raising rabbits. And if I go through with rabbit raising, I might put the rabbit hutches up there. Because on this side of the house, I get quite a bit of wind during the summer. And so I wouldn't have to worry too hard about my rabbits overheating because there's a very good cross breeze most of the time on this side of the house. So that was one thought. Um, I was thinking of tilling it up, maybe giving it to the girlfriend as a garden. We'll see on that one, but I got a lot of stuff I could do up here. I wanted to get some pigs, but everybody tells me like, don't get pigs, man. They stink, they're just nasty. And while I am technically out in the country, I'm not so far out in the country to where I don't really have to worry about my neighbors. You guys can probably see that I do have neighbors up here, um, even in a rural area. So I don't want to do anything that'll make them any madder at me than what they already are. I've got one. And to be fair, they haven't really been a problem in the last five months. But last September, on opening day of hunting season too. I got a deer out of my side yard with my crossbow. And according to every rule and law I've read, that's my prerogative. I am absolutely allowed to pick a deer out of my yard where I'm at. Well, what I didn't count on is apparently some of my older neighbors see the deer out here as pets. So that caused a little drama. Um, that since passed, I haven't heard another word out of that neighbor. But yeah, that was fun. That was also one reason why I stopped making videos. Because they found my YouTube channel and started to comment on all my videos. Thanks for the free views, by the way. But they found my channel and started to comment negative stuff on my videos, so I kind of went MIA for a little while to let the heat die. Mostly because I don't want my neighbors to hate me, but at the same time, I'm on private property out in, out in rural areas, so 
you need to respect it. But with that said, y'all, I'm getting cold. I want to get in and start cleaning in there since I can't do anything out here. Um, and I'm going to go pick up a little bit of food while the girlfriend's still in bed at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so now that I'm back, I'm going to try to be very regular about the videos I'm putting up. Make sure, because I know 90% of y'all ain't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you later.